for me personally, I have learned a lot um, in terms of brands. I personally wasn't used to certain brands. I, I feel this Adidas, the Reebok, the Nikes, the Visages and things. Never knew of Nest, the Georges, um, the Per Una, the and space. all those things. And so for me, I, I think being at the All Foundation and being on the team of the Beach Monitoring has really helped me uh, understand how large the um, textile industry is. This is the ecological research team of the All Foundation, and I am Joseph Ayesu, the manager. Um, I'm Bright Aikwa, a lab assistant at the All Foundation. Jacob Ayesu, a lab assistant at the All Foundation. We're really going to talk about um, what we've been doing so far in the year, and uh, we're going to start with um, beach monitoring. Actually, that is where we started from and um, some of the challenges that we, we actually faced. For me, being part of the beach monitoring was uh, really cool. Um, I always lived at the beach and I could see tentacles and other deaths at the seaside. But then really joining the all opened my eye to where they are coming from. And uh, we're trying to assist, um, clean up the place for me is uh, a thumbs up for the all. You could see um, tester waste increasing by the day, which is really bad. First of all, me growing up at the beaches, we used to play at the beach, and now you cannot play at the beach anymore. It's not comfortable. Turtles are not being able to come to lay eggs, uh, which is also really, really bad. Yeah, and uh, for me, I, I feel um, overproducing. It's really, really killing our beaches and our water bodies. Taking of the tax to the office for sorting is very, 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 very active, hard. Active. Something that you think maybe you can take um, an hour to do, it can take like a two days because um, some of the brands are, the rating on the tax are faded. You can't yeah. see, it takes time. And also, um, from um, results of uh, our filtered samples, you could see um, lots of micro plastic microfibers in the uh, on the samples, which is a clear indication that our water bodies are, are very polluted with these textiles, because these are textiles are shedding uh, fibers in the air and in our waters. And we all know the tendency of uh, micro fi uh, fiber microplastic. They attract to metals, which definitely fishes are going to feed on them. We also feed on the fishes. And so indirectly, we are consuming plastics yeah, which is re really bad to our health. We work on the, the community, so we engage the community for yeah. community counting. So we, we, we train them through our system and our policy that we used to count here. And yeah. they are catching up with the microfiber count and it's really helping. Yeah. This is um, talking about like group of individuals from the community and also from our beach monitoring team. Um, through our citizen science, um, we've been able to like kind of train them to really understand um, what is microfiber, microplastic, and um, they are helping us count our samples as we filter them. Let's go to um, digging of tentacles at the um, dam site. It was very, very challenging and challenging with, the smoke, with the smoke and all heat. that because they have they have dumped uh, the uh, textiles like years. so so many years so you yeah. can't even find a space to dig inside so. and also digging with the smoke and the heat coming out it's it's really harmful but yeah we need to get our information anyway and so we we, we try to um, gather our data one um, interesting aspect of our work is also the tag hunt and our beach cleanup, which for me it's, it's the most exciting part, even though it's kind of um, very stressful and tiring. You need to dig up tentacles like so many like meters so in many. the soil. So it takes <laughs> a lot of people, not yeah. the, only the Ecotox team, the community and other Stuffs. Even pulling it out is very, very difficult to pull them out. We have to find a cutlass to 
cut just some, cut some you need to out cut them, yeah? so that you can bring them out. Yeah. So it was very, very, very. One, two, three, one. 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 Two, three, one. One, two, three. If there is consistency in this kind of uh, remediation, it's really going to make our beaches look good. But my fear is um, if the waste is still coming, then we, we, it's a never ending cycle, which for me, I, I, I think we need to really check. Uh, I think recycling and also um, putting um, the unused clothes into good use, like as we're doing in our foundation here, um, looking around, as you can see, um, this um, cases, there are fiber boards, there are um, mobs. These are all like kind of um, reuse. We are trying to recycle or upcycle these unused clothes, which for me, I think it will let them stay off our waters and our beaches. From the beach monitoring, we also came to collecting water samples, which was a bit of fun and kind of crazy. <laughs> it, it was not easy at Old Fadama when it rains. Yeah, it's very, very tough over there. <laughs> one, thing, one thing that was kind of crazy is also like waking up very early in the morning. Sometimes the weather really like cold and you need to just get up and go sampling. Yeah, it was kind of fun, but then <sighs> Very challenging. Also about uh, mounting our air monitors. Somebody with zero uh, engineering or something, then you need to help people fabricate um, this kind of pool. I, I think for me, it's I, I also learned a lot. I, even though it took us like more time, we were like supposed to use like a week to do this, but then it took us like a month and a half to complete one pool, the back and forth alone the stressing, moving from the office to Galloway every day was kind of crazy. We, we are used to like working on uh, off days because, um, because of our rain data that we collect. And so anytime that it rains, whether it's a holiday, a weekend, you still need to show up. And I think um, Jacob has been doing really great with those things. Sometimes we find it very difficult because to wake up raining, you have to make the time and come for Yes, to the come sample. and collect data. Personally, coming to the all, at first I, I really knew nothing about um, this science thing, like using of um, the microscope and size equipment. But coming to the all, I've learned um, a lot. Well, being at the all has be, really, really, really changed me a lot. Being a footballer, I didn't know much about being a citizen science. Through the whole foundation, I've learned a lot. And now I'm teaching people how to count fiber count. And then means I've moved further ahead. So I'm, I'm praying that I'll further more and be good in everything that I do. Personally, I, I, I think I am growing and I have developed a lot. Uh, my understanding to um, protocols and um, how to um, safeties around how we work is very crucial and I, I, I feel um, I've learned a lot. And moving forward, I know there are more things that we are going to touch base on. So hoping to learn more and to help the organization achieve its main aim of um, making a policy that the policy um, automatically comes back to um, take care of the messes that is being created. I, I think we, we, we've done a lot and uh, Going forward, I think we are continuing with these processes, but this time around, we're more going to focus on um, our remediations, where we are now uh, piloting our decomposition, um, how to decompose these fabrics. And, uh, and so alongside with our cleanup exercises and also um, piloting our decomposition to make sure it's fully functional, um, we can really hope to achieve what um, we, we, we think of making the city or our beaches clean. And so after cleaning, we just take this um, tester waste into our decomposition and then we run through that same process. And so this is what we envision. Yeah, and our bigger uh, hope or aim 
is to make the Koli Lagoon swimmable within the next five years, which we hope and we know is going to come to pass.